Hello everybody! Welcome to an affinity video with uh, Ether Sworn Sphinx. That's the first time I played this card. This card is a brew, uh, this deck is a brew from Aspiring Spike that a player brought to the top eight of a MT2 RCQ. That's a eight rounds event, so that's a very good record. The Sphinx is a nine mana four four flyer cascade with affinity. So it's like Sojourner's Companion. It costs a bit more, it has flying, and it can cascade anything from Thought Monitor to Memnite. You do have Seagate Restoration and Emeria Call instead of Basics because you can cascade them. You're also an Urza deck, of course, we're playing four Urza. We're also playing Psy, Smith, Natalsis. So this deck is very similar to the Blue White Affinity deck that I have played a couple of weeks ago, but it adds this powerful card in Etherism Sphinx. So it's gonna be exciting to try this deck out. Um, not much else to say about this other than uh, we are an affinity deck, so as always we're preying on the fair decks, hoping to dodge the unfair deck. Of course now we do have uh, access to Esper Sentinel and a couple of counters in the sideboard, as well as Teferi. Teferi is very good against Cascade decks. Spike played 20 lands. Yeah, but this player added uh, two of these lands, so it's like 21 lands. A Miracle and Sega Restoration. The... The idea behind the Sphinx is basically to have a card that uh, isn't just a 4-4, but there's something more than that. Baldwin is very, very good against us. We do have four drums, but that's about it. What are the pros and the cons versus Mono Blue Affinity? Uh, a pro is that you're easier, you, you, you can beat Blood Moon, you have two basic islands. Uh, also, uh, you can, um, you, you have a much smaller uh, mana curve, so you're gonna like uh, get get, how do you say, stuck uh, less often with like expensive cards. Celestial Colonnade? When's the last time you've seen a Celestial Colonnade? I don't want to crack the bubble. Mm. So next turn I have three artifacts, so this one cost four. I think I cracked the bubble, I kind of need to draw I kinda need to draw lands, right? Right, Teferi. I'll keep the Thopter in my hand. It doesn't do anything, and if I draw Genius Myth, then it's good. Peol doesn't do much. In fact, I'm probably just running it out in turn one here. I wanna attack into Snapcaster Mage. A player with Celestial Connet must play Snapcaster Mage. Play Relic. I'll play Portable Hole. I still hold the Stopter. Pass. Okay. So I have now three artifacts, four with the top. So if I draw any land, I can cast the Thought Monitor. Any land or zero drops, of course. I can cast the Fair, but they make me draw a card if they do. They can bounce my Saga, but that's not a problem. The con is that he has so many expensive cards. I mean, that's obviously a con. Yep, that's fine. Draw. So I can't... Uh, resolve the thought monitor yet. Uh, I'll pass. I don't want to play the stop there. Next turn, I can go. Thopter, Thought Monitor, if I don't draw, if I draw like an expensive card, like a Sphinx. 
the Urza Saga will eventually get me the Springlet Drum, also known as Mox Opal. The Fairy. They pay one tax. Uh, I'm not gonna crack Relic. I need a Relic for Affinity. I wonder if I should go for um, the Ingenious Myth or the Thought Monitor. I guess I'm going for Thought Monitor, right? Yeah. It was very important to play Portable Hold. Okay. If I play Razor Tide Bridge. I'm uh, shipping up a better next turn, I think. The saga is gonna be delayed, but uh, I need I need blue mana. I think. I think they go supreme verdict. If they do, yeah, they go supreme verdict. I draw another card. Hmm. On um, on top. Sphinx. Okay. I go ingenious myth, shadow spear. Oh, Memnite. One, two, three, four, five. Play the Mem Knight. I mean, I have so many threats in this game. Sometimes what happens with Affinity is that you run out of threats. But, I mean, I guess if you draw three cards of Esper Sentinels, it's easier. They have five cards in the end. They play Teferone Paperone. Okay. Draw. A bit of rate of dress down here. So concern number one is killing Teferi. Okay, they stole my Mem Knight. Weird choice. How many artifacts I have? One, two, three, four. That's not very many. That is not very many. Can go three mana thought monitor. Or I can make a construct. My problem with the construct is actually a big problem is that dress down is a thing. I think I'd rather play the thought monitor here. Draw two, pump the smith. Let's see what I draw. Docks the citadel. No need it right now. Tuck the fairy and pass. Okay. Go. Maybe too many top land in this deck. Can you just play? Uh, I guess fetch lands are bad if we don't play basics. Alright, Teferi draws a card. Could you just play the pathway instead of the Seacomb Coast? Probably. Yeah. Teferi bounces Saga again. Is this the fourth Teferi you're playing? It's the third, alright.
they also have relic. Interesting. Okay, that's good. Uno, uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette. I'll play drum. I'll play thought monitor. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six artifacts. So does I can go as myth? Can't. All right, I'm gonna attack first. Let's attack the Teferi. I want to see what they do. I have six damage here. You have three cards in it only. If it goes not caster. Chump block. Shark? Oh, March. Okay. Porks. I want to kill Big Teferi. I was like, maybe I can kill next next turn Small Teferi. Mm, yeah, I can't cascade, of course. Um, but Let's go Urza Saga, uh, Ingenious Myth. See what I draw. This game is not easy, chat. If you wanna take a look, it's cool. It's not necessary to always write something. A portable holder relic. This will deny of a card. A hey, your go. I'm tapped out. <laughs> Spreading seas to blow up my saga. When I came very prepared to use the saga, I have to say I wasn't able to. I played it on turn two. It's turn eight. I've never. I wasn't able to make one construct. I guess I was. I decided to go for thought monitor once. Maybe that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> a second relic. They crack the relic immediately. All right. Untap to Hollywood Fountain. Untap again. Okay, so they can activate Celestia Connect this way. Interesting. I think I'll go for Urza. If they counter this way, they can't activate the colonnade. Alright, they don't. I'll uh, keep Shadow Spear to the Ingenious Myth, because that one trades with a colonnade. And I'll attack both a uh, Teferi Time Reveler. No, this one attacks Teferi Time Reveler. And that's it. I don't want jump attack yet. How much money do I have now? One. I have one, two, three, four, five. I 
I can either go for a Psy. Or just spin the wheel. I already made a land, though. I think I'll play Psy. Pass. Yeah, this is a good battle. Opponent, uh, I didn't want to attack with that because I felt like they didn't have a removal spell because I would have killed things, but uh, I can uh, <laughs> kind of removal spell that was okay. You can only hit that, right? I'm only hit. Where did you get that color from? Okay, so I'll sacrifice two artifacts this in this and draw a card. All right, and once again, all tapped out. You go, opponent. Okay, the fairy goes to three. They still have big the fairy, which is on five because I attacked it earlier. Spreading seas, it doesn't matter, but sure. Because I need to draw. Hello, young PZ. What's the best way to place your deck during a paper match? I like it top right. They killed the Emperor to make a token. Still Shadow Spirit keep it on the construct, eh? They have two cards in hand. They tick up to fairy, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This magic is this game is this game is a, this game is fantastic. This game has been fantastic so far, so close. It's game one of the league. Mm. They have two cards in hand. It's prismatic ending on my side. Okay. What deck are you building for your birthday? Uh, for your birthday, you should build a fun deck. Rakdos, Scam, probably, it's fun, yeah, fun deck. Oh, Ochawara, hmm. Allora, do I want to bounce the Samurai? Nah. I'll keep on the Construct. And attack to fairy time reveler. Uh, don't don't get rid of this, please. Just let me cascade. Oh, thank God, I can finally cascade. All right, let's do this. I'll go white, blue, cascade. Okay, first time we're cascading. Drum roll. Let's bring the drum. Puck of cats. First of the many, though, don't worry. I can now go Ether Spell Bees. I said drum roll and cascaded a drum. Wow, I didn't even think about this. That's true. Uh, let's spin the wheel. Could be anything. Could be literally anything. 
even this although wait if you only hit my urza I think that's the best moment to bounce it right Urza you're safe no I should have just cracked the relic why did I not I don't know why chat I'm sorry I punted Bye -bye. pass I'm sorry I punted I don't know why my brain forgot what I know he actually does If here goes to seven, we still got our 12 12 trample creature. Might we just attack face next turn? I don't know. Jace the Mind better than all. What do you bounce? The construct? You brainstorm? My bene. That means they had nothing in end. I still haven't seen a solitude by them. Supreme Verdict? Okay. Put and cleaned it all and our Urza is safe in end. On top draw. Do I want to crack the relic? I think so. I feel lucky here. Aspetta. Before cracking Relic, I'll play Urza, though, because I can use the mana from Relic to crack the Relic. Draw. P hole. Kish kif. All right, let's do the Urza thing. And bada boom. Thought monitor, not bad. Draw two. Thought cast, not bad. Draw two. Thought cast, not bad. Draw two. Urza saga. A, where do I keep the Shadow Spear to? Mm. I guess I can keep Nettle Cyst here. Why don't I play Dominario in Arena? Because then I had to play Arena. Okay, your turn, opponent. The fear is in seven, that's scary. Although we have Otawara, worst case scenario, you can bounce it. What cards I'm looking for in Dominaria United? I want to try Squee in Legacy Mono Red Moon. I want to try the Goblin in Goblins. I want to try Leyline Binding, maybe. What a game this has been. Turn 11. The fairy continues to tick up. Imagine if they go like time warp now. GG. Yeah, the new Dominaria exile all that costs two or less would be very bad in this board state. It even exiles her as a saga, right? Or does it say no land? If it says artifact enchantment. Okay. It's not like Divine Purge. Obviously timer is an issue too. Like this is game one, my opponent has 13 minutes on the clock. And this is why you like can't play blue white control like in any event ever. Like this is a league, so you can just finish this match and play the next match next day 
But if this was a tournament, opponent must have finished this match, have no time, not even to go to the bathroom, and start immediately a new match. And it's just... That's not a thing. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. Alright, they are cast Shark Typhoon. Okay. Second shot. Hmm. You're on 13, opponent. You are on 13, opponent. Allora, guarda. First thing I do is probably cast... No, actually, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything here. I'll just play a Saga. And attack for lethal. All on your face. No, maybe not. This one on your face. This one on Teferone. This one nowhere. They have two cards in end. You're playing the Wandering Emperor. You make a token. Okay. Uh, sure. You're exiling my thought monitor. That works. And you can chum block. That works too. I didn't want to auto wire the token because if it doesn't work, if they have another spell, I just lose the game. I have to auto wire the Teferi. Now, uh, first thing I want to do is. Uh, Playing Seeger Restoration, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure I can. So I only need to pay six, so I'll pay six. I'll pay six. If this resolve, I draw six cards. Okay. Now, I'll uh, auto wire cost three. I'll play Ornithopter. I think Ornithopter is good here. It's like a Moxifier, plus everything else. I'll uh, simply Otawara the Teferi in my opponent's upkeep. So that's gonna take me three mana, three mana. Can I play Esper? Oh yeah, Esper Sentinel is free. So I'll play Esper Sentinel. And now I pass. Uh, yeah, I pass. Now, upkeep. I'll Otawara the Teferi. <laughs> Teferi goes back to hand and you go, cost three mana. And now I can make a construct. That's an additional mana, but I want to wait uh, a Supreme Verdict so that I can make it after a Supreme Verdict. Again, if I bounce the token up when I had like, I don't know, an opt, I would have died. Because they block the construct and then they uh, emblem Teferi. Teferi, of course, makes a 5-5. Five five, but that's not a problem because they have two portable holes. And the construct is huge and they have Shadow Spear. There's a Nettle System on Ornithopter that's also lethal. Again, this deck... Is good against fair decks. It's bad against unfair decks. If we're battling of fair decks, the late game of this deck is very, very good. And look, I even have eight cards in hand. Uh, this card says that you don't have to discard. The deck picks? Yeah, the deck picks are nice. Alright, let's make a token. This game takes forever. Yeah, I mean, that's an opponent deck. Takes forever. Uh, all right, untap. Uh, draw. Now, the saga here, what do I want it to do? Uh, bah. Yeah, I think I can make a token. Like, I think I have infinite mana. I have 14 cards in the deck. Do you go for a dress down? Or main phase? If they go for a dress down, 
Oh, they do go for a dress down. Oh, que pala. Okay. I now wish I had equipped one of my one of my constructs. <sighs> all right, so all the constructs will die. I'll float blue mana first before they die. Spring the drum. Now I go portable hole on shark. No, oh, perché ho preso quello? Ah, oh, sorry chat. Starting to get um, confused. Now I can keep the Shatter Sphere on Ornithopter. Uh, play drum. I'll uh, play it lend. I'll keep Shadow Spear on uh, Asp Sentinel. And let's attack. Now, the Thopter will go face because it's lethal. A Urza goes on Wandering Gamper. As for Sentinel, goes on uh, Jace the My Sculpture better than all. Let's see what they do about this. They do something, Kit Kat, so. Ochawara, my Thopter! Right. So they survived. Uh, do I play Thopter? Yeah. Do I keep this? Yeah. Do I play an Edelcyst? No. Pass. I have 13 cards in my deck. They have 17 cards in deck, I have 13. How many, how many Sphinx I have in my deck? Do I have like three Sphinx in my deck? I do have three Sphinx in my deck. Do you bone? There's activation. Uh, there was Dress Down in play, I couldn't activate Urza. This is going to time? <laughs> you can't on Magic Online. Oh, you mean somebody's losing for time? Could be. Could be. This is still game one. Yeah. Game one of round one. Mm hmm. Uh, you can't make a creature with Ur's ability end of turn. You can only cast a creature as a creature time. You know what I mean? Rakdos League was over in 70 minutes. This match is lasting 60 minutes. <laughs> could I have keep Sentinel? Yeah, could I have keep Sentinel. But do I really want to draw? I don't know if I want to draw. Ooh, all the storm giants. That's good. Wall of omens. Okay. They have four cards in hand. I hope they don't have another spell, but I guess they do. I don't have a second nettle from hand. Uh, why? Because of Supreme Verdict? Drop. I'll uh, activate Saga. And they don't have any more artifacts in my deck. Three fountains, what the fuck? Uh, now what? 
Now what? I can put the Shadow Spear on uh, one thing, like... Like the this. And then I attempt to attack my opponent. Are they dead? Not dead yet. Hmm. Should I make them dead here? Maybe. It's 19. Twenty. It's twenty. Should I activate Urza too? Yeah, let's activate Urza. What do I flip? Playing kind of random. I mean, it's. It's not easy, it's not an easy game at this point. So I flipped Urza. Then uh, I wanna move this where? Here. And then attack. <laughs> do I tackle face? I think I'll tackle face, yeah. They're all the they're three twenty power creatures. Let's see what they do. Solitude, okay. You exile that. Uh, that one was the one with trample. And you chump the other. Okay. Pass. Remember, Shadow Spear is Trample. Chase Brainstorms. Point is really by boring me. I think this game is very entertaining. No one's boring anyone. We're playing a nice match of magic, I think. Snow Schwartz! Thank you for the raid. I appreciate your support. I'm very calling the deck, yes. So there are Arc Mate Charm. Oh, spit the, spit the, spit the, spit the, spit the. Five, 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 five. No, no, okay. You can tap the construct for mana. Alright. You can steal the tap construct now. It has the Shadow Spear, but the Shadow Spear is mine. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. I sucked my relic already. Okay. What do you steal now? Another construct? I'll tap that one as well. When I had this line, I should probably bounce Urza first. I don't know. You got Afka? Is this game one? Yes. Put in seven minutes on the clock. We have 822. And are also winning on board, I think. What do they do? Oh, they steal Shadow Spear. Wow. That's actually a good play. Stealing Shadow Spear. Okay, so Puna now controls the spear. And that that means they gain life. Or rather, that means I can't give trample to my creatures. And then tap. They have 10 cards in deck. I have 10 cards in deck. Draw Ether Swim Sphinx. Let's cast it. Cascade. Esper Sentinel. You counterspell this. All right. Pay the tax. Mm. 
Miracle. Okay, I'll play a new Sphinx. See if I cast a miracle. It's a miracle! Alright. We got some angels, they're all indestructible. Uh let me let me attack. I'll attack all face. Go. Uh, you can't choose with Esper Sentinel. You have to... Esper Sentinel, you can't choose. You have to draw the card. Okay? In fact, I'm gonna get decked this game. I think I shouldn't bother tapping more permanents here. I mean, I could uh, I could play Urza, make more tokens. Should I do it? Yeah, I probably have enough time to do it. I probably have enough time to do it. All right, I'll keep one. Five minutes forty four against seven. I have five cards in the deck. Yeah, they stole my shadow spear. I'm ahead in time. I think I, I think it's fine. I, I think we got it under control. I will deck out this game most likely. Just because I have two sentinel and my opponent simply just plays spells and make me draw a card. Oh, I tapped all my Springlet Drum. I can't tap this Angel. No, I can't tap this Angel. If I had a Springlet Drum open, I could have tapped it. A bit. Is this target player draws two cards? Oh, wow, it is. Yeah. I guess they just accepted that uh, they're gonna time out. Mm -mm -mm. That's okay. In paper, this would be a loss. I would lose the match 1-0. Uh, Shadow Sphere is controlled by them. They stole it. In paper, I would have lost the match at 1-0. But Magical Lion is uh, on certain things fairer than Paper Magic. So, my opponent uh, didn't mention each time properly. Or rather, maybe they had more actions, I don't know. I mean, my, my deck also had a lot of actions. I'm just passing there. Is it Nassif lost on time with Tendril's Wagon in the stack? That sucks. The paper would be a tie. Uh, nah, I think you you no no no, I don't think so. I think we f we would have finished this match in paper. Put it three cards in the deck. All right. I lost uh, because of drawing from an empty library. That's a funny that's a funny outcome. Okay, so this was game number one. 
How much time do you have for game number two? Three minutes fifteen against six forty. Is Thai League a results of Magic Online? Yes, if both of the players have exactly zero seconds, sometimes Magic Online thinks it's a tie. Or like, I don't know, if you play like flame like on like what kind of fallout, things like that. Yeah. Crazy game. I thought I was winning, but I guess the opponent never drew any solid shit. They drew them eventually. I don't know, whatever, right? It's funny because I thought, you know, after we finished the first league in one hour and I, I was like, oh, I'm going to finish the stream earlier today. But, you know, <laughs> after playing this match, I don't think that's true anymore. I keep this in, it's like, whatever. But a blue white control can never win in three minutes, so. Oh, I shouldn't have played this tapped. Uh, that's, that's a mistake. Is that spreading seas? Wool of Omni. Net assist. Teferino? Not a good play. Ferino, good play. No, you have to pay four. It's not gonna be one. Hey, la 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 la. Ooh, I like Sai here. Sai is nice. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's, it's a great card in the Mono Blue Legacy deck. Not sure how good it is in modern affinity, but the opponent is a card that says uh, if you're losing for time, instead you win the game. I'll put in time out. It means one one. No, it means uh, two one. Actually, you know what it means. I think it means win one zero. I don't know. We'll see. I think it might be win zero one. Something like that. Something strange. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, so I can go natural assist, thought monitor. <laughs> I mean, I guess they can play it out, like, to practice something against affinity, although, obviously. Sharky, Sharky. Sharky. 
Sharky. Fifth land. Game one, my opponent played a turn five to fear here, Dominari, I think. There was a spot where I could have killed the shark token to kill the Teferi instead I bounced it. There was maybe the spot where I could have risked it, but I don't know. I felt like uh, that was a way to lose to the Teferi emblem. I specifically drew me so many cards in those matches. You love a control player is loses on time. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? So keep the Sentinel, let's send them all at Tefiri Time Raveler. I really want to kill. Actually, um, what if I diversify my Tefiri attacks? So this one goes on Time Raveler. Okay, right, I can see it. Run out of time. Okay. Okay, chat, that's cool. I'll be back for round number three. The dress down. Uh... The dress down was good. Round number two. After a draining first match. Hands fine, nothing fantastic. It's a two lane hand with the turn one Esper Sentinel on the play. Hello, GL. Put a mulligan to six. Mulligan to five. Round number two against uh, Rule Boring. I'm gonna start with a nice Esper Sentinel on the play. And also my Knight, because that attacks for one more damage. Connie Garden, okay, that's Glimpse Lamentals. Uh, again, this deck is good against fair decks, bad against unfair decks, and the Glimpse Lamentals is definitely unfair deck, although the Mulligan took five, so. Uh, oh, that Fury here, probably. I think they might have Fury here. It honestly makes sense to go Fury because he shut down two artifacts. Maybe I have something like Thought Monitor. Sorry, Thought Cast. Like if I draw a Thought Cast next turn, I can cast it. Yep, they go Fury. Pitching Glimpse. All right, yeah, it's it's the Glimpse deck. The Connie Garden gave it away. Unfortunately, I mean, the mana curve of this deck is very high, I told you. The problem with this deck might be that sometimes you just draw your very expensive card and you just can't cast them. Okay. And it's not great, but... Yes. Kill a clue. Yeah, don't cast this stop here because of the ingenious myth. I left the Teferis and the counter spells on the side. Okay. They don't have a Charlotte Sage and they might have bound at burst though. Let's go now to assist. So you can't cast Urza. But it might be there soon. Yeah, 
endurance. That's fine. It's not a, it's not a match for endurance for sure. Ooh, they took their own deck. Sure. Makes sense. That Fury. Charles? No. Just crack the clue, please. Don't Charles me. Just crack the clue. No. Brick, 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 brick. Brick. Five per minute, see what a Philip. If you're interested in my point in that, I also made a video with it. Okay, then can play it out. It, there's no Omnath. So usually that means I can keep on playing. That means I can keep on playing. Okay, it's just crack a glue. All right, Cavern of Souls. So I'll block one of the Sparaction Goblins. I think here, if I draw a land to play Urza, I'm in the game. Oh, did not attack. Land. Ugh. See, this is this is why I don't like. Maybe that will take too much damage. How much damage? How much damage do I take? Hoping they don't do anything. I'll block off goblins and shardless. I take six, eleven, thirteen. I go three. Yeah, no way I can do it. All right. Mamma mia, my good math. The fairy. Chalice, Rebuke, Rebuke, Fluster, Fluster, Taken Out, Thoughtcasts, Sphinx. You can't have counters and Sphinx in the same deck. You just can't. Relic. Mm, anything else? Spell bomb. Let's go. You just can't. So I'm very on the fence about this. So uh, against blue white control, I mean, it was fine. Actually, it was pretty bad at the fear the whole time. Against uh, that, when you side encounters, of course, this is a must side out. It was also. Pretty bad game one. Hmm. All right. Let's begin with the Red the Tide Bridge. Um, I don't want to crack the bubble. There's a risk that they have Foundation Breaker. So that would kill my Urza Saga. Portable Hole doesn't seem great. Uh, I mean, it's a... Fine though, right? I think I can't crack a bubble now. I think I have enough artifacts. But I can have Foundation Breaker now to kill my saga. If they do, it's bad. I'm hoping they don't, but if they do, it's what it is. Should I put Memnite in case I draw Metallic Rebuke, maybe? No, that's okay. I got rewarded. Yep. Alright, it's still right me. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have played Saga. 
Should have played around Foundation Breaker. I mean, that was a that was actually a punt. Like, this is one of the plays that like, oh, it's maybe they didn't have it. Like, that's not the case. This was. Okay, Reason Reef. Unfortunately, Portable Hole doesn't kill it. Portable Hole only goes on the like the the token, the the thing, the the two tokens. Hmm. I'll go side because I want to make artifact for Thought Monitor now. I might make some additional artifact. And last turn I could have done display, and this turn I could have played Urza Saga Urza. That's what I should have done. And granted, maybe I could have still lost. Like they go Omnath, fetch, land here, I lose. Let's see, they, let's see if they have a cascade spell. Playing blue white lets you have Teferi against these cascade decks. But Glimpse Elemental is one of those decks that can, like, just play magic and still have a pretty solid plan against you. Unlike leaving Gandor. Rhinos. Alright. Fish. Thing is... Oh, theory is still good. Draw. Five six. We want to monitor. Subtlety. Put it on top, I guess. Kill a clue token and pass. Have a lot of mana now. Whereas I don't have anything going on, so all I have to hope is that they, they flood, although it's very unlikely. Strange sequencing. They have three cards in it. They don't even crack the clue. I would definitely start it by cracking the clue there. They're playing like they cited out the combo. Sometimes you do that. 
Do you do that against me? Maybe. They even have Mystical Dispute. They've cited in a lot of cards. Another subtlety, maybe? I'm putting that on top, I mean, doesn't get much better than a Thought Monitor on top of my deck, I think. I mean, land for Urza, you can say, but at the same time, if then they have some errors, I don't really want to draw land. Thought Monitor into land is, is probably best. Yeah, that's a mass attack now. I'm taking that. How much damage it is? 10. I got a 6. Omnath can kill me too. The third chapter of Omnath. <clears throat> if they have a land from hand, they can deal me four damage with Omnath. I don't think it's good. Alright, let's attempt to cast this top monitor again. Let's see if it works this time. Alright, good game opponent. Well played. Nothing to say about this game. All right, join a match, round number three. Against Luke Turner, 88. I once again opened this hand that I'm like, so heavy, this is so heavy, I'm keeping, but only because of Saga. GG is rule of boring. Good games, good games. Planes as per sentinel, alright. Draw. Secret Coast. Okay. I believe this is my third land. Sorry, fourth land. So I'll go now Dark Souls Citadel go. Next turn I can go Saga go. The turn after I can go to Wire make a token. I'll probably be dead by then. Now I can go Secret Coast. I can simply untap because Saga dies. Yeah, the Zethers when stings are like, maybe they're good against blue or red. They're good against Dress Down plus Sideboard. I can see all these things. Do I drop a League after O2? Mm, depends. I usually play with good decks, so it, I would do that if I feel that my deck is malfunctioning, but usually shouldn't. I mean, it could happen, of course. It usually shouldn't. Uh, huh. I think I actually go with Tawara here. The reason being... Uh, next turn I make a token and play a new saga. Ah, oh, shit. Because the thing is, this one can come into play on top next turn. So if I draw like a white blue card, make sure maybe I should play a sequence close there. What's going on here? What do they have? What do they have? Am I missing something? Oh, plus two, plus two? Oh, okay. That's fine. Blacksmith skill. Sure. Okay. Very happy with this trade, actually. <laughs> they shouldn't attack with the Fear Steel Paladin. That was a mistake. Uh, Alright, Cigar to Zade. I can get the... Um, the Bomb Beer.
I got the bomb beer. Uh, five art. If I was think cost a billion, I definitely never, never want to go spring the drum. Yeah. You can go. Yeah, regret not having done this last turn, but that's okay. I pass now. You have the bomb ready. If they draw a Amar, of course, is very annoying because you have all this pot and it draws you cards. Okay. Now we can go Thopter. Uh, I want to play Drum. They have two S percent. Hmm. How big is, how much is that? 30. Would a writer make a Saga Construct? I think I would, yes. Because my problem is, if I cast the Sphinx and I cast Gate into a spell, I have to pay the tax, and I don't want to. I just want to make Construct. Next turn I get a Shadow Spear and a Construct will be huge, and I'll just win with it. Like literally playing zero spell that are relevant outside of Ursa Saga making constructs. Oh, they drew armor. All right, right on time for my opponent. Do you know what day Dominara come on MTGO? It should be tomorrow or today, tonight. You can probably play Liliana of the Ville tonight in Pioneer. Mm, they drew two cards. One of them is an Inkmoth Nexus. Hey, do you attack me? You do. Uh, do I want to just chomp with a Thopter? Maybe double block. How about a double block? There's seven seven, so they'll divide the seven and four. So I'm just trading one construct for an Esper Sentinel. I don't think it's a bad deal. No, maybe it is. Let me think. Next turn I get Shadow Spear. How big is the spear? Maybe it's not as big. Because I wanted to make a construct that's lethal, but I think it's impossible, right? Yeah, I think all I have to do is just double blocking. Yeah, sorry, Construct hit the tray with a Sentinel. Actually, it's not the worst of the trades. Like, if they went to an Anordia Thopter, it would probably be the worst. So I want to keep the Ether Spellbomb around. Very cool game here. Very cool game. You put it on there. Okay. I draw. I draw. I passed. That's just a merda, porco cazzo. Make a token. I'll go get a shadow spear. No, I misclicked. I got relic. I misclicked. Allora. Uh, let's play. Let's play the Sphinx. Hopefully I don't cascade into a spell, but into a creature. E te pareva che pescavo la merda di drum. I guess I'll, I'm fine with casting drum at this point. Because I go drum into drum into net assist. Into thought cast at this point. I'll let him draw a card here. Drum. Into. 
Okay, so this is an 11. At this point, it's both Leto and bigger than the Sentinel. I'll, uh... Oh, wow, I'm dead on board. I guess I have to keep the spell bomb up now. How many constructs do I tap with? One? Or two? It's not 14. One or two? If I attack with two, my opponent probably has to block both of them, right? So I trade with one Sentinel. Yeah, I think it's good to attack with both here. Can get blown out, maybe. I mean, maybe if I got her like a real thing instead of a relic of a chant. You chump, chump both. I mean, it's a good attack then. Mm, okay, trade and chump, a bit. It's okay, I'm still doing it. We are still doing it. We have two cards in hand. Do they have blacksmith skill? They could. They could have a blacksmith skill. If they do, their sentinel survives. Oh, the double chump. All right, your turn then. Your turn, opponent. They can't kill me because they have the bomb. And the blue mana. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Am I dead? I'm dead. Think? No, I'm not. How is this kind of this thing's been for me? Mm, not great. Okay, the main phase hammer. They draw two cards. They have four cards in hand. They haven't made a land yet. They made a land. Very interesting game. Considering that I haven't done anything in the first three turns, I'm pretty <laughs> happy to be here, honestly. I think the double block on the Sentinel earlier was very important. Because if I took that damage, I would have most likely lost to the Cigar to Zeta armor. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Hello, Barbizio. Yes, this is the deck that top eight at the MTGOPTQ. They played another Stoneforge, but it ran out of mana. You don't have any more mana, opponent. You are dead, my friend. Tu es muerto. Alright, GG. I mean, there's no mana. I just put a nettle says here, it's over. Muerto, 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 muerto. Muerto, muerto, muerto. 
Où est-ce Où est-ce Who needs Shadow Spear Chat? Who needs Shadow Spear when you have Nato Assist? Muerto, muerto, muerto. Okay. This patch. Put the needle. Let's take our relic so I can't misclick. Let's take our sphinx so I don't draw them. No, actually. No, but for real though, this card is only good against Merc Tide, I think. And maybe against four color? I don't know. No UFO. I just can't. I'm sorry, Sphinx Believer. I mean, I usually take out Thought Monitor because it's too heavy. You can't believe we won? You should believe you're watching a mango stream. That's what. Usually, that's, that's the more likely outcome. Put a card on the bottom. Let's go. Mm hmm. My Sentinel, I think, is better than yours. Is it though? Maybe. No, actually, Sentinel here is very good for them. Hey, yo, Vurtuvius. Doctor? Yeah, it can be good most of game ones. I don't know, actually. That's probably not true either. Okay, Spring of Drum makes me draw a card. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. I'll play Urza Saga. I'll play Drum Drum. Paid Attacks. I'll play Ornithopter. I'll play Pith and Needle. Name Colossus Ama. A do I attack? No, no. You're the one without lands, not me. You watch my YouTube videos for a lot. First time you catch it live. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of people. A lot of people uh, do that to welcome. Okay, they can't keep the party because we drew the needle. That's, that, was a, that was a good draw. How many artifacts I have? Uno, due, tre, quattro. Yeah, I can make a token here. And I can play Thought Monitor. Boom! Boom! Strong deck when it works out. <laughs> Very strong deck when it works. Affinity. I do say that we beat the fair deck and lose to the unfair deck. I think Ummer is probably not a great matchup, but... The reality chip. Okay, they're gonna keep this for free and um, reveal the top cards. Let's see. 
they don't find a land on top. Should be over. Should be over. What do I get? But when in doubt, just get spell bomb, I think. It's crucibly untapped. A attack with my big dudes. Do this, do this. A pass. I have this patch. Actually, maybe not keep. I should kill. Uh... No, no, bye bye. Ginja Bluto, all yours. As many as you want of this. Would you ever revisit Boris Stoneblade? I, um, if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you know that I usually play the decks that do well in the uh, weekends, in the events. Uh, yeah, so anything is possible. Like I usually don't play Aspiring Spike Brews, but when they do well in a challenge like this one, uh, that means there is a potential, you know? Okay, end of turn. Do I want to play this dispatch? Nope. And tap and drop. This time I'm gonna dispatch the pure Cipide in my opponent's turn. But yeah, whatever. I mean, there, that's seven life. There's no way I can win the game. What's that? You can throw a life. Okay. Kiss Keef. And I'll go dispatch in your upkeep because uh, this way I pay the tax once and I don't have to pay it anymore. Urza Saga wins again. Could you ask me what made you get into the Fiend Override archetype? Uh, this this time you mean? Because again, this deck did well um, in a weekend challenge. But I like Affinity also because it's a budget deck. A lot of people are afraid of uh, Modern because it's expensive. But uh, there are some budget options, like, like Affinity to win, so I like to play the, um, the decks that people think, sorry, the cheaper deck. Okay, 2-1, let's continue. I mean, obviously Modern isn't nearly close to Legacy, but if you compare it to Pioneer or, I don't know, the Arena format, that you might be scared of um, of the prices of the cards. Yeah, one one win. Yeah, I'll put in typed out. I have a I have a screenshot that I posted on Twitter. So, what happened was I I got decked. Game one, I I died of decking. I have thirty card. I have zero. I eighty seven life. A. Yeah, they stole my Shadow Spear. That's how they won. I lost to Glimpse. I always lose to Glimpse. I think <laughs> I'm with Affinity. I remember. Uh, the the leak that I posted uh, the other day on Magic on my YouTube channel, I think I went four one losing to Glimpse. Whoa, Karuga! Uh, this means my opponent is the combo deck. Opponent is playing the combo deck. Yeah, I think the problem of Modern isn't necessarily that uh, decks are expensive. The problem of Modern is that um, there's, there isn't shell that you can use for multiple decks. You have to, uh, let's say, uh, buy them all if you want to exchange every time. 
Okay, let's start with Jameson Cavern. We can play Rhino and Leaving End. Sure, yeah. We can play Merc Tide and Rex's Shadow, but there's like, you know, the shells are, they're not really interchangeable. That's what I'm trying to say. Play Saga and pass. Next turn, I'll just start making constructs. Christian Footfall plays Karuga. Yeah, you can't. Karuga is only played in uh, the deck called uh, uh, Blast. Uh, in the Blast deck. I have to my opponent to just mulligan a hand without the Blast and just dies. Unlikely, because that's why they mulligan. But they mulligan to five. All right, they have the blast. All right, now the second the second hope is that they break. They didn't break, so I take fifteen damage, and then that card has flashback. I can gain a lot of life with Shadow Spear though. They don't have another blast now. Another blast now. Hope you don't. Untap draw. Do I want to make a token? I think so, right? They clearly don't have a blast, so I think I need to just win ASAP. Or. Five, six, so I attack for six, they go to 13, next turn they die. I think it's reasonable, better than playing Thought Monitor. Yeah, so I have to hope my opponent doesn't kill me next turn, basically. That's it. If they have a Calibrated Blast or a Land Throws of Chaos, I lose. If not, I win. Alright, they passed. So I think we win. Very important to play these, eh? Get this power in Portable Hole. All right, attack. Oh, they could have Bazaju, I guess. I didn't think about Bazaju. They could have Bazaju, ah, yeah. Should I play it differently? Mm, no. Should I played it differently? Mm, not sure. Let's go Sphinx, Cascade into Relic. Not bad. Uh, this one costs five to flashback, so I guess I can just pass here. All right, good. Yeah, they only had one uh, Calibre Blast, and uh, we don't damage ourselves to 20, to 15, sorry. Okay, now, uh, sideboard. Uh, Lantern. Ashiok doesn't do anything. Teferi's good. Counters are good. E yeah, I guess combo, we just take out Canonist. 
So portable hole is bad. But it, I mean it's uh, it's it's awful, it's awful of course, but it's a uh, artifact. I guess pithin needle named Bozeju. It's probably better than pee hole. Let's go. Muy bien, sin modo, ¿no? My hand is not capable. All right, this is a good end. I would have bought some some wine here. Yeah. Podcast? No. I think in this matchup. Ooh, Poseju. This was my Flash of Swords. That stops my Flash of Storm. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Do 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 do. I think I just go aggressive with Ingenious Myth Doctor here. Because again, Flash System doesn't stop the card. And I'm on 16, meaning that uh, I don't die to. Oh wow, did anyone have red mana? Crazy. They don't have red mana to blast me. I could ramp up their ingenious, but then it wouldn't have pumped the ingenious. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was worth it because I could have cast Urza, went top deck the Seacrum Coast, but I wanted to deal more damage. I want to deal more damage because I believe that uh, this is a matchup where even one damage might matter. Obviously, again, I drew a land so Urza would have come one turn earlier. Alright, so they have 5 mana now. They're probably gonna... They pass. Okay. How much damage do I have here? I don't know, but it's... It's not little. Quanto damage show? I got 12 damage. Opponent dies if they want to tap a you. Should I activate the Urza? I will. I will activate Urza here. Let's go. I'm attacking for 13. You see? I'm lethal now. One damage. They buzzage you, my. No. All right. Okay, so there's only six damage now. You can blast me, and I can die. I die to a Sun Scorched Desert. I die to a Round Up Ruins. 
Yep. I mean, maybe a brick. And we're cool. Dead. Dead to the flashback. If I played a, if I played round one turn earlier, I would have probably won though. Because I would have attacked. Ah, I guess they had Bozizu. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe the the drum the drum would have won me the game if I played it earlier. Because the point it ends the game exactly at two life here. GG. Let's go game three. Awesome it. Another play I could have done was uh, turn one drum with the Seeger Restoration. But I was like, maybe I don't want to take three damage. It's going to 16 might matter. But then on turn two I had to. So I'm not sure. A couple of plays could have won, could have won me the game if I played differently. Yeah, hopefully I win game three because I'm gonna have regrets about this loss here. Was the first yes? Take a hold. I don't think my cyber has better options. We cracked the relic too early. Mm, I don't think that mattered. Yeah, both both Asia. Well, yeah, we lost to both both Asians in this game. To I to Todkast. Yeah. Be the thought was better. I think I already have enough um, payoff expensive cards. I need more enablers. Stack. Go. Hopefully, I draw a land to make a token on turn two. Okay, uh, play Thopter. I don't have Metallic Rebuke Mana up. But I think it's okay. I prefer Mono Blue. We're gonna get drum. Ooh, I can get pith and needle and name uh, Arid Meza. Is that a good play? It's not a good play, right? That's a... I'd like to double uh, Calibrate a Blast, but that's okay to me, I think. I think I have to deploy my board save before keeping up mana to counter spells. Opponent deck needs to resolve two times a Calibrate a Blast. Don't even have one. Let's go. To the position. Yep. <laughs> Funny, there's a German play. Okay, that's my first land.
Could have put it untapped in case I top deck Flask of Storm after Throws of Chaos. But two damage matters in this matchup. Ooh, they don't have anything. Uh, oh, I'm Shadow Spear, Thought Monitor. Where's the Saga? Attack for two. Pass. Not sure what happened. Did they not keep a did they keep a hand without? They must have kept the hand without the the payoffs. Token. Huh? Make a token. Yeah. I don't want to play Urza. I mean, maybe it was right. I just uh, think that maybe like they can. I don't know. I can keep my Urza. I don't own mine anymore. This way, nothing really can go wrong. I think. What to war my saga? I flash the storm up this way. Ooh, they can have crime punishment. I haven't thought about crime punishment. Although this is a seven drop. But <laughs> it kills everything else. Okay. Like, imagine there they go, uh, Otawari or Urza. Maybe that was bad. All right, anyway, 3 1. This is going to be another 4 1 losing to Glimpse Elementals. Classic Affinity League. Final match against Kolush. This land is not great. I'm hoping to draw a land on turn three to jam these. What is considered an unfair deck? Um, a deck that doesn't play like creatures, removals, counters, just interaction. A deck that's light on interaction and only focus on his plan. That usually involves uh, not like it usually involves killing the opponent uh, in a fast manner. Like a Nazi and Tendrils, exactly. Like elves, like, uh, you know, just. Not necessarily a combo deck, because unfair can also be like. Uh, mono, mono red moon or eight cast can also be counted unfair because they're 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 not really playing a normal game of magic. I play Mem Knight turn one. I can deal one damage. Not the worst, right? Island from seventh edition. It's, oh, mill. Speaking of mill. Hmm. How is this matchup? Oh, I remember this matchup is awful. I actually remember this matchup. I've played it. Uh, uh, I've played it once against a friend of mine, uh, like for an hour or something. I have not won a match. Remember, he was multi queuing with Hearthstone and still defeated me easily. All right, at least I drew a land on the other hand. If 
Think about a fair deck, like, you know, Blue or Merc died, John. Those are the fair decks, and everything else is not. Maybe Rakdos Kam. I mean, Rakdos Kam is, I would still consider it a fair deck, but uh, it's still on the lower side of that. Play natural assist. I'll attack. Thirty four cards. Okay, you take five down to thirteen. At least Tasha's Idiot's Laughter is very bad against this version because we play four Sphinx. Oh, I have 30 cards in my deck. There's still all the Cascade Sphinx are in there. Oh, first Cascade Sphinx gone. All right, I don't have Tasha. Natasha. Hmm. Would I play Thought Monitor? think so. Cost two, right? Yeah. I draw two cards, but that's okay. I feel the rain actually stone rains me. I have no basic land in my deck. Alright, miss sequence there, but whatever. Uh don't wanna take anything. Twenty one cards, let's see if I die here. Unfortunately, they didn't have four mana to keep it all in the Thopter. I think that will fail push there. Yeah. Is <laughs> that a they dumb make me No, I drew the Sphinx. Okay. They, they now also finds out that they don't have any basic in my deck. They put me to 14. A fetch land isn't lethal, because that only mills 12. Oh, that's lethal. They mill me 18. Alright, GG. GG. I'm not going to take out the Sphinx, just because of the... <laughs> High mana cost. <laughs> Spell bomb. It's bad. Sigh. Genius myth. I want to keep this percent, and now I think I need a cheap, a cheap one drops for this deck to function. Got the miner. Dominary United cards add to modern. Uh, so far, not that many. So far, not that many. Pioneer, yes. Modern, maybe the Lord. JG, they took away my lands. Maybe the program thinks I cited an extra 15 cards like chat wanted to. So I don't have any more ratio land spell. But I swear I let the ratio land spell intact. Yeah, the new Merfolk. We talk about it in the podcast about the new Merfolk because Javier thinks it's good. Me and Anthony 
daunting so much, but uh, I look forward to the changes. Deck. Deck. Yeah, I think goblins can work. I mean, you you still have an awful matchup against four caller, but outside of that, you might improve uh, some other matchups. Like against Merktide, you probably improve there. Because Merktide kills your things, and that thing just makes you draw cards. Saga! Please don't spread and seize me. Nice. We'll decide we're in the graveyard. Shakespeare is not the worst. Not the worst. I'm gonna search my library next turn. What a pioneer for Dominaria cards. Well, look, the 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 the, the, the three mana three three white the Melly Mage. No, did you feel the ruin? Card is such a bomb against me. I kill Saga. I don't have lands in my deck. Stompos issue. Commonly, you have to. Oh. No, this matchup is terrible, I told you. I told you on play one. I've played at least an hour against a friend of mine, I remember this fondly. I mean, this is different, but... So basically, after the first, the first match took forever against blue-white, and then the rest of the league was like super fast. They tasha six cards. Lol, this, this is a record? Is this a record chat? Tasha only six cards? Might be. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm a knight. How many cards do I have? 16. Why didn't you? But the monitor. Wow, they don't do much. Explosives. Okay. Fetch land. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, some uh, blood murk tide. For sure. Have a good day, everybody.